In today's video, we're going to install the front and rear uh, overdrive and underdrive for the TRX4. This kind of solution, uh, this kind of gearing, enables the front and the rear wheels to spin at a different different speed, with the idea of having the rear wheel spinning faster than the front ones, which should help uh, in steep climbs and in weight transfer. So by not having by having the front wheels pulling a little bit less, there is less weight transfer towards the back. With this type of uh, gearing uh, solution, we enable the front and the rear wheels to spin at a different speed. By having the front wheels spinning faster than the rear ones, we change the weight transfer when we go on power. In this way, we should have less weight moving towards the back as we go on the, on the gas. This should help specifically when we're trying to climb up uh, steep hills and difficult difficult obstacles. So as you go on the gas, normally the, with the inertia we want to push back. Instead, with this gearing, we reduce that effect. So let's see how we go uh, on installing this uh, front and rear uh, gear. So we will have to remove the wheels, the axle to access the differentials because we need to change the differential gear and the pinion. So first of all, uh, Okay, so now we have removed the wheels and the portals. Next is to gain access to the differential. So to do so, we simply need to remove the protection plate. Just screws like this, one and two. Now we're gonna remove the plate of the differential. So two screws, just four screws to remove everything to undo the differential. So you got two screws on this side and two screws behind here. And here we go. Okay, here there is a lot of salt and sand in here actually, as you see here. It's actually pretty bad. Okay, so at this point now we just simply remove the differential. We need to remove uh, gently the um, little mechanism here to flip the, the lock the differential. So you simply click in, so like that. It just pops out and everything as you see comes out. Got a bit of a mess on this differential as you can see. Uh, lots of sand in here so I think we'll have to do quite a bit of maintenance on here. Okay, this is really full of sand. So let's go ahead and remove the pinion gear. So to remove the pinion gear you need to undo the 1.5 millimeter grab screw that is uh, just here on that holds the drive shaft. It's quite straightforward. Comes off very easily. Yes, we. Okay, so we push the pinion out. Here you go. That's your pinion here. So we're gonna just blow with the compressor the full housing here and then we should be good to fix the diff, replace the diff gear and the pinion. Okay, so that's the new diff. The new pinion, this is the new pinion. You can see it's quite a bit different. It's well machined and it actually says overdrive. 12 to 33. It is a 12 tooth pinion on a 33 tooth gear on the differential, and that's the an overdrive. And this is the gear. Okay, so to open the diff, we need to remove four 1.5 millimeter screws. Okay, so 
the differential inside, as you see, is actually quite messed up, quite messy. So the differential is quite messy, so we're gonna have to remove the gears and everything and give it a really good clean. Looks like quite a bit of salt water went in this time. So, okay, so we'll clean up all the gears. They're really in much better condition now. So we're gonna reassemble the differential. For more uh, information and details on the maintenance of a TRX4 uh, diff, please check our other video. So the gears, this will go in the housing here. I'm gonna put some uh, uh, differential oil here. So I'm going to try to put some black grease this time around, just because this car is gonna go into water quite often, so that probably is going to be one of the best options. So we have this full of wheat black grease. We put a little bit of grease and all around here. Put this back into it. here. So when you do the diff, it's always best to tighten the screws in a cross, which means you do this one here and then across to this one. And then you go across to the one on its left or right, and then the one opposite again. Once you believe they're all tight enough, just do a quick check on all of them again. Then you should the diff should be in quite straight. Okay, so diff is done. Bearing installed. Let's bring back the car and finish the installation of the differential. So um, this could can be at times a little bit tricky because we need to make sure that the um, mechanism that the shift the uh, the lock the diffs is in the right position. First of all, we need to put in the pinion. So this is, a, this is the new pinion here. So we just need to slide it in. Put a little bit of grease. Okay. To put a little bit of grease on the pinion. Put a little bit of black grease here. Okay, so a little bit of black grease. Like so. Put the pinion back in. Okay, grab screws, 1.5 millimeter tool. And the pinion is back in. Okay, so this process is very straightforward. So, let's turn on the car. One thing we need to do is to put the case back on briefly. important to have the case back on because all this groove in here it's important to have the mechanism to work so once the case is on then we can make sure that everything works and it all seems to be fine turn off the batteries the car the ready way so the last step is to put a bit more grease in here so it's all well lubricated Before we close everything up, we put a little bit of grease all around here. As we did before, this is going to help with water resistance. 
So now, so this is going to stop the water from coming in. Oh, no, it's going to, not going to stop, it's going to limit the amount of water that can possibly come in. The same thing on this side here. Okay, like this. And we can put this back on, like so. Okay, so this goes here, and then we start putting screws back in. We are again at the end of one of the TRX4 uh, series videos that uh, we start producing in the last few weeks. Um, today we installed the uh, overdrive at the front and underdrive at the rear and we can see here the result is quite noticeable so the front wheels are spinning a lot faster than the rear one. It should help the car climbing steeper, steeper climbs. Uh, obviously when you go on gas normally the car would tend to tilt backwards but by having more power at the front the car should stay flatter and therefore able to climb uh, large objects and so forth. Okay, so let's have a quick run. We put some body clips on the spokes of the rims here so you can see the difference uh, of rotational speed between the front and the rear ones. So as you can see there is a big difference between rotational speed of the front axle and the rear axle. Uh, obviously we know that there is uh, uh, the overdrive and underdrive here is installed now and we've been testing it uh, on a few climbs and the, the difference is actually really uh, impressive. We're trying to climb a 50 degree uh, step ladder and the car surprisingly went up slowly but it went up. Thank you for watching and make sure you subscribe to the channel again so you get a notification for the next video. Thank you.